welcome back to this channel let's continue with our full tutorial in autocad for mechanical engineering this is lesson number 11 so we'll continue to talk about uh, uh, practice so this is the practice number three and we'll make this lever here so we have the same one with dimensions so we have here the the first distance is 52 45 the angle 45 and we have also here uh, the sico first one is uh, 10 and second one is uh, 14 so let's go and here 18 30 let's go to our drawing and make so we have uh, already this uh, the set the limits and we can start we'll just activate the auto mode first make sure that i have this, this straight line the first is a uh, 52 enter and then second one we'll just deactivate the auto to have uh, the, the angle i want here is a 46 and the angle is 45. Next step will be make the sequel. We have the first one here. What will be, uh, just go there, all right. So what will be the 10? And we have the second one is a 14. And we have also the same in a this side 10 and 14 all right the next step will be making also in uh, the middle we have uh, 18 and we have uh, 13 right in the middle 13 the next step will be join the line so join the sickle with the line so to make sure that we have join here we need to activate the tangent tangent is this one here so we can see that it is already uh, activated we'll just make sure that it is activated and then i can use the tangent let's go okay we can see here tangent is there right click and then also click okay enter again i'm gonna do also the same side all right so why do we use tangent because we want to make sure that the line is at the right position in the sequel that's why it's important not to use the quadrant but the tangent all right so let's see uh, uh, what is missing no drone here so it is uh, pretty much complete right so next step we'll just uh, do make the dimension to make sure that we have the right dimension here and uh, to do that let's go there again just make here make sure that we have the the right dimension okay so we need to activate center and uh, the okay intersection right okay now we can make um, the dimension the first thing you just come here to dimension you just come here in a dimension and then you choose so we we will make with the diameter first click the meter click the so where you want to to measure here and then Done. Enter again to repeat the command. You can so this the, the outside you can see here is 10. Alright, you can also enter the command to make this one big one here. You can see here 30. Enter the command to repeat the commands. And then so we can see here, so and then uh, you can change to the, the linear to have the, the distance. From this side to this point here you can see 52 enter to repeat the command to this side and this side is so to make sure here uh, is we, we, we need to use the not the uh, linear but the aligned because they are aligned you know straight so now we have three six and last one is uh, the angle just come there again 
and then go to angular with the hair so in this case the angle is from this to this line you can see here is a 45 so we can compare you're gonna see that they have the same uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, let's go to the next lesson what will be the practice number 12 so see you for the next practice